thank you all for joining us. Uh, so we are providing a quick update to you uh, regarding uh, this evening's weather event, as well as the Streets Department's response. We've got Kent Flake here from the Streets Department, our Streets Commissioner. Um, so Kent, I'll let you go ahead and get started and we'll take a few questions afterwards. All right, thank you, Nick. Uh, my name's Kent Flake, Commissioner Streets, City of St. Louis. Uh, Tonight's weather sounds like it's going to start as a, a light rain between about 10 and midnight, somewhere in there transitioning over to a very wet snow uh, and continuing uh, to around somewhere around 10 a.m. tomorrow till, till the, the, the storm loses uh, kind of its gas, I guess, and ends up flurrying off and on till somewhere between 4 and 6 p.m. Uh, the good thing is, is that temps look like they're going to be mostly above freezing during most of this storm. Uh, there'll be a little question on ground air temps this evening, uh, between like four and 6 a.m., but looks like ground temps should stay above freezing uh, throughout the entirety until Wednesday night, when uh, it looks like it's gonna drop down about 27 by 6 a.m. Thursday morning. So this should just be a very slushy snow accumulation. Uh, when you typically see a lot more snow on, on grass and yards versus roads, I really believe once we get out there and get the roads open uh, with the warm air temp and warm ground temps, that uh, it should melt most of everything away off the road surfaces themselves. Uh, Obviously, that can all change if the forecast changes. Uh, right now, uh, I've seen forecast anywhere from four to about eight inches. Looks like we're going to be probably around the four to six inch range here in the city of St. Louis. Uh, we will have about 30, 35 trucks on the road starting at midnight tonight. Uh, second shift will come in at noon tomorrow to do any and all mop up that's needed. And hopefully by midnight, Wednesday night, uh, we're able to put this storm to bed. Uh, hopefully by about noon tomorrow, we should have mostly clear uh, road surfaces. Uh, I really don't see slickness being an issue uh, at this point. Like I said, I think it's gonna be more of a, a slushy kind of storm. Uh, we kind of equate this to like a March snow, which uh, we're pretty familiar with around St. Louis. Uh, but that being said, uh, I already mentioned what times our crews will be out. Uh, for the most part, I don't see us probably using much salt except on uh, maybe some hills and bridges uh, just to keep a little melting effect out there. Uh, with ground and air temps being so warm, uh, especially during the day tomorrow. I, I think once we get it pushed out of the way, like I said, I think everything should just melt its, on its own once it stops snowing. Uh, and there's some pretty significant snow volumes in this as far as I think a half inch an hour is what I'm kind of seeing. So payments will continue to be overcome by, by slushy wet snow. But I think as soon as we get that plowed out of the way, you should have a very good driving surface. Uh, obviously, this is going to be way different than the last storm we had when we had minus five, minus six, minus seven degree temps, uh, where it was a 100% chemical storm on our side as far as fighting it. Uh, I really think this one's going to be a 90 plus percent plow down, very little chemical used in order to get through this one. Uh, it's a little, so a big difference uh, between the December storm and this one, uh, but we're, we're very used to fighting storms like this. Uh, we had some pretty significant wet storms in the past or wet slushy snowstorms in the past. So we're very familiar with fighting this one that last one where we had minus five, six, seven degrees out there. Uh, that was not something we were used to. Uh, some of you guys did interviews with me before that one, and usually I'm fairly confident 
this one I'm definitely capping it in. That last one, I, I definitely had some uh, some reluctancy to be very uh, optimistic on uh, fighting a snowstorm at minus degrees. We're not used to that. Uh, in short, I think that's about all I have. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Um, we'll turn over to Greg uh, from Spectrum. You mentioned you're staffing 30 to 35 trucks. Um, are, are you short any drivers? Uh, is that making you make any changes as far as the priorities go? Uh, how's your staffing? Uh, our, our staffing, we're still down. Uh, most everybody's heard me say this over the last two years. We're down about 40% on staffing uh, in general at the street division and street department. Uh, with this with this storm, it, I mean, it's, it's going to take us a little bit longer to get control of it. Uh, we'd like to be out there. We typically have six, seven, eight trucks per per station. We have five stations in the city. So you're talking 40 drivers typically. Uh, it just slows our response down. Other than that, uh, I, don't, I don't see it being an issue with this storm at all. Uh, the, the biggest thing for us on this one, especially your main drags, is, is to get out there and, and get them as, as clean, or once it stops snowing, to get uh, two, three plow trucks together, get all the snow off the, the road surface itself uh, so then people can drive. So staffing is, is low, but uh, we've been working with Department of Personnel here for the last, well, essentially two years, but we've been working with them really hard here over the last three to six months in order to get people in and uh, and luckily here in two weeks, I think I've got about 10 guys starting. So, so that's good. Looks like Mark dropped his question in the chat. Um, is the timing a bit of a challenge with the heaviest snow continuing right into the beginning of the morning commute? Is it correct that the morning will be slow and messy? I believe that's that's correct. I mean, the good thing is, like I mentioned earlier, is I don't see this being a, a real, real issue of slickness. Uh, we've had this type of of snow before it's just going to be slushy kind of mucky uh commute to work tomorrow uh really and, and at that point morning rush is when we're going to be seeing those half inch an hour plus uh snows which is which is always pretty significant but uh so yeah it, it will it will certainly affect morning rush uh, the good thing is it, it does start at 2 a.m. Our crews will be out there. Uh, we always try to get out, you know, our, our incoming roads. So anything coming into the city that's a major thoroughfare, we always try to get those, at least the incoming side plowed before rush hour. Uh, once rush hour hits, we try to, depending on the storm and how Many people are actually on the roadways. If uh, if everybody decides to come to work tomorrow, we usually kind of sit back between 6 and 7.30, 6 and 8 to let as many people get in as possible. So we're not having to dodge uh, people going to work and, and vice versa. So they're not trying to dodge us either. So, so yeah, we, we should have a good five, six hours of plowing before rush. Uh, once 7, 30, 8 o'clock hits, we'll be right back out there widening, opening everything that we can open. Uh, and it'll be kind of the same thing tomorrow afternoon. Anything that we don't have open, uh, we'll try to get that as open as we can on the outgoing routes uh, prior to 2.30, 3 o'clock. So we can provide the best access we can. Obviously, you know, we've got 450 miles of road that we've got to clear. Uh, we always do that based on our tiered response where we do the major roads first, secondary second, and then we break down to uh, some hill hill routes and some smaller streets after that. But I, I really don't see, it's going to be slushy uh, as long as people take their time and have a little confidence in what they're doing. There, there shouldn't be any problems out there. Thank you, Kent. Um, any other questions? Uh, well, thank you all for joining us uh, for this brief update. If you need a copy of the recording, please feel free to shoot me an email and let me know. 
Um, otherwise, uh, have a great rest of your day and stay safe out there. Thanks all.